Hey, what's going on you crazy kitty cats? It's Elder here. Before we get into the video, I just want to say a huge thanks to everyone that's decided to stop by my channel. We went from 82 subs to almost 800, and it really does mean the world to me, and I really do thank each and every one of you. With that being said, today we're going to be looking into the internet black hole phenomenon. Internet black holes have been around since the creation of the internet, and really, the concept is quite simple. Have you ever sent an email that is successfully sent on your end, but the person never receives it? Commonly, it could be user error, but in some cases, it disappears without a trace, not going to the intended receiver, being wiped out entirely, or being routed through an unknown location. Engineers have taken to calling this the internet black hole phenomenon because the data is commonly sucked up and never recovered. When you add this with the fact that one of the biggest black holes didn't delete your information, rather rerouted it through a third party IP address, this could be more than a harmless phenomenon, it's a potential security breach. Ever since the conception of the internet, these black holes have existed. But if something so unimportant goes wrong, you usually chalk it up as a glitch or possibly even user error. But scientists from the University of Washington say that everything on the internet happens for a reason. And very rarely do things happen with no purpose, as when you break it down enough, computers are just ones and zeros. After investigation by internet sleuths and students alike, they discovered something truly shocking. This phenomenon, in their sample size, happens far more often than anybody realizes when they realized how many problems black holes actually were causing, they created a team to monitor the web for these black holes and try to figure out what's going on, even going as far to make maps of the most common areas for black holes. But this doesn't stop at a simple inconvenience. Researchers have found several black holes that don't just delete information, rather reroute information through a third party IP, then send it to the original destination. This means that the third party could see whatever was sent there. Not only could this mean financial trouble, as credit cards and social security numbers of innocent people could be out there, but also trouble for government agencies hiding secrets, as they are the most targeted in information leaks. Theories on this range from simple internet holes, to dark web organizations, and some are even saying terrorist groups that are trying to collect information. This has even been recreated by computer scientists, but the how is of little concern to many internet sleuths. Many scientists have been actively trying to trace down what's causing most of these problems, but rather than where, I think we as people could learn a lot more from the trends of the diverted information. I emailed a very active Redditor about this, and after a brief discussion he said that after knowing what has been diverted, you already know who is diverting it. He said that the disproportionate amount of political content diverted is too strange to be coincidence, and that he believes black holes are being used as some sort of cover-up for illegal activity. Whereas, many University of Washington students just say that they believe most of it is coincidental, and they're trying to look more in the mechanical and scientific side of things. They're mostly ruling out foul play, as this is something pretty complex, and you're going to have to make your own conclusions on what you believe is ultimately going on here, whether this is foul play, or whether this is just a simple internet phenomenon that has been, you know, too many connections have been drawn to it. It's hard to get the why here, as there are plenty of explanations all fitting in nicely. Just for the lack of overall knowledge about the phenomenon overall, it's a lot of, it's a huge puzzle with not a lot of pieces, so you can get a lot of things that look right, but aren't necessarily right. And I think unless we could get some kind of interview with either somebody who is diverting the information, or somebody who knows everything about the internet, this is going to be up in the air for debate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast getting to look into this, as I've never even heard of this before, and when a fan told me, I absolutely had to do a video on it. Huge thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome, and be sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it, and be sure to tell me if you know anything about this mystery in the comments, or if you have any personal theories on it. 
Also, tell me how you liked the music. Tell me in the comments whether you like no music or music. I'll see you guys on Christmas. Peace.